I had a number of students ask me how to use the mesh grid function. So I'm going to go through an example here where I calculate the kinetic energy of say a ball moving through space which is a function of mass and velocity and we use this equation one half mv squared. So what we want to do is create a table where we vary the values of mass going in the vertical direction and the values of velocity going horizontally and we'll create a 4 by 6 array of kinetic energy values. So we'll have mass equals 0, velocity equals 0 up here in the upper left. Then as we go to the right, we'll increase the velocity by 1 but keep the mass constant. Then as we go right again, we'll increase the velocity by 1, keep mass constant, and so on until we are calculating the kinetic energy where mass is 0, velocity is 5. Going down to the next row, We'll have the mass is 1, velocity 0, mass and velocity are now 1, 1, all the way to the end until we get kinetic energy of mass equals 1, velocity equals 5. And we continue doing this with every row in our array until we get down to the kinetic energy where the, where the mass is 3 and the velocity is 5. What we really want to do is to create two tables that are 4 by 6 the first 4 by 6 will contain values of the mass and the second table will contain the values of velocity and we can then just multiply them together using this equation we first create two 1D arrays containing all the values that we want to include on our table. So we have velocity going from 0 to 5 in increments of 1, m going from 0 to 3 in increments of 1. So we create a 1 by 6 array and a 1 by 4 array. Now we can use the mesh grid command, or the mesh grid function, to convert V and M into 4 by 6 arrays. So what it'll do is it'll take V and it will turn it into a 4 by 6 where every row has the same value as the values in the top column. So V will have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, then 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5. M, because it's listed second here, will instead be converted into a 4 by 6 just like V but with M the values for each column will be the same so it'll be 0 0 0 0 0 0 then 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 and then 2 across and then 3 across so let's issue the command now and you see V and M have been converted into 4 by 6 arrays all the values uh, in each row for V are the same, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. M, all the, row, all the values in each column are the same, 0, 0, 0, all the, the way to 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Now, we can just use the formula for kinetic energy and multiply the different array elements. So, 1 half times M times V squared. And because we are multiplying arrays together, we need to say dot multiplication. So I'll suppress V and M, and let's see what we get. We need to expand it a little bit. And we see that the kinetic energy is calculated for every V and M combination. So let's look more closely at the value down here, where mass is equal to 3, velocity is equal to 4. So we can say, what's 4 squared? It's 16 times 3 is 48 divided by 2 is 24, and that's indeed what we see here. So now you know how to use the mesh grid function.